Yes, we're excited. Um, this is our second annual Bermuda Invitational Permit Meet, Area Permit Meet. Um, and we're excited that we're putting a new twist on it this year. Um, we've invited Jessica um, to participate in a para, and she's agreed. And they will be running the 800 meters along with all of our elite athletes that are overseas Tyrone Trey we've got our university athletes that will be home and of course they will be competing against some of the best in the world so we are excited looking forward to July the 1st yeah I cannot wait and one of my friends Elena DuPont who races for Canada will be coming down to join me um, I'm also looking for another athlete to come down as well so hopefully there'll be three of us um, I don't think Elena's too thrilled about the 800 but <laughs> it's okay um, I thought that it would be cool to show some drafting as well as some sprint work. No, yeah, I think they were definitely surprised because we were originally talking about just doing a 100 or 200. And then after some thought that I had, I thought it would be really cool to show some drafting. So I was like, let's bump it up to an eight. <laughs> well, it's very interesting, Earl. Um, we have had, I've had streams and streams of mail coming in over the last week of some very, very top class athletes who want to come to Bermuda for the permit meet. Um, several reasons as you stated it's very very close to the world championships. Another reason is going to be wonderful weather in Bermuda in July. Um, so I think that is is starting to get everyone's interest and because now we have a circuit in the Caribbean um, you know they just had the Grenada meet they have the meet in Cayman they had the the world relays in Bahamas they've got a meet in Jamaica so a lot of athletes are now looking at the circuit that we have versus traveling over to Europe so I think that's another reason we're getting so many athletes that are interested in coming to this meet so I mean I'm excited I woke up this morning with a with an email and it was a list of some top athletes and I was I was totally totally shocked when I read some of the names so I passed it on to me and Devon and said okay we need to jump on top of this immediately and later on this afternoon I got another email so for the last two weeks I've been receiving email after email of athletes that want to come down to run in this meet so I think this is going to be bigger and better than it was last year. Um, Bermuda's going to be in for, for a treat. Also, um, on top of having Jessica this year, we're also going to have Lamont Marshall competing in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. Um, as you know, he's trying to qualify for the World Championships um, this year. He ran very well at Penn Relays. So we want to give him an opportunity to also be seen in Bermuda running that steeplechase because we, that's another event that we have never seen or not seen at that level in Bermuda before. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's it's really important as well to bring awareness of parasport because I know that people see it on TV um, and see my races on the news and stuff like that, but it's totally different when you're sitting in the stands and you're actually watching a race happen. Totally different. So it would be pretty awesome to bring that to Bermuda. I'm going to enjoy it and just enjoy being home and, and uh, just competing with Elena here will just be incredible. Um, we're starting our racing season in two weeks, so I'll start getting my adrenaline pumping through that, and that'll definitely amp me up to come here to race. It'll be probably, uh, I think, my second to last race before I head to World Championships, so it'll be pretty exciting. We have, um, I was stating earlier, for most of the events, right now, we're oversubscribed. Um, so we've got to go through that list and start looking at, okay, look at some big names, also look at you know quality result we've also got to look at the cost because as you know some of these high quality athletes come with a price so we might or we might not be able to afford them we'll see um so basically right now we just have a list so we haven't um confirmed anyone at the moment but i will say every single event right now is oversubscribed which for me is a fantastic thing because last year we were kind of scrambling at the last minute whereas this time 
we have more names than we than we need in every single event. Our athletes have their have their lanes. I mean, they they're they're in first, and then we you know we put everybody else around them. So we make sure that we are showcasing our own Bermuda talent first before we fill the other lanes. So the Trez, the Tyrones, the Shaquilles, the Dages, they're all in, and then we fill the lanes around them. And remember, in an 800, we can put up to 12 athletes if we want to in an 800 and just have them on the waterfall start um, but we're really just looking for eight um, per event at the most um, so we're like I said we're, we're excited and when I when I see the names that are coming up hopefully we're able to afford to bring them because I think it would be fantastic for Bermuda to see such talent here in Bermuda, you know, which is which is a step above the Carifta Games. We're talking about Olympians, World Champions. So that's going to be really fantastic. Oh, um, well, our two stars will be here. Um, Shaquille and Dej will definitely be here. And one of the athletes that I received an email from this morning is a top 800 meter runner as well. So just as last year, I think the 800 is going to be, you know, one of our highlight events as, as per normal. Thank you.